on everybody, welcome back to the kitchen table. This is Bad or Bad Bite Size, and today it's all about BVS, Batman vs. Superman. And to give the director, Booty, Zack Snyder. That's what director. has Zack done? Okay, so he's been known for a few movies, so I'll go all the way. It's, it's actually, I can go real fast. Uh, Playground, Morrissey, then he did Dawn of the Dead, which I like that movie. Mm-hmm. I like. Mm-hmm. Jared mm-hmm. don't. Mm-hmm. 300, which is what most people are probably going to know him for. The Watchmen. I enjoyed it. Mm-hmm. Uh, then he did Legend of the Guardians, uh, The Owls of Gaul, which, yeah. Um, then Sucker Punch, which was not widely accepted by people, but I enjoyed it. Yeah. It, it was different. Uh, and then Man of Steel. And then he did some Superman 75, which is a TV thing. So I'm assuming some celebratory thing for Superman. Okay. And this one, Batman versus Superman, B- Dawn of Justice. Justice. All right, uh, Jared, run right. down the cast. On the cast, we're going to do a Ben Affleck plays Bruce Wayne Affleck. slash Batman. Affleck. Says Affleck. <laughs> Affleck. <laughs> <laughs> Henry Cavill plays Clark Kent. Uh, Amy Adams plays Lois. Jesse Eisenberg plays Lex Luthor. Mm-hmm. Lawrence Fishburne is Perry White. Jeremy Irons is Alfred. Mm-hmm. And there's one more. Gail Gadot. Oh, Gail Gadot. Leon Gadot. wants Gail Gadot. Gail Gadot, 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 Gadot plays That's Wonder funny. Woman. He gets yeah. all like. <laughs> <laughs> I know, exactly. <laughs> She's yeah. too tall for you. I don't care. <laughs> what Leon don't care about tall, short, whatever, dude. If they're Synopsis. Good, they're good. One sentence. Christopher and go. Batman is created, meets Superman, and is talked into hating and trying to destroy Superman, and they work together in the end. Cool. Back it up. Batman is created. Bat. Well, at the beginning, it shows how Batman is created. Yes. Origin. Sorry. Okay. Or origin. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like. Okay. <laughs> they didn't really Same show thing. how he's created because that'd be with his parents and it'd be all weird. Awkward. But. All right. All right. All right. So synopsis, real quick. Batman and Superman is the main crux of this movie. Uh, basically, it takes place after the events of Man of Steel. Batman is actually in Metropolis for some who knows, God knows what. <laughs> Notices that the stuff is going down with Batman. I'm mean, with Superman and Zod, and all hell infuses. He has a driving force to get rid of Superman because he's apparently evil in his eyes, and hence that's what the movie takes place as, apparently. But then we go into more dramatic stuff that deals with bringing other people in. <clears throat> And, yeah, I don't know where it goes past that. It's really hard to synopsize this movie because it's really everywhere. So that's the best I'm going to give to you. So the premise, it is Batman versus Superman and more. So, getting into the good parts. I knew you were going to do that. Uh, I'll give you my, my, my pluses. Uh... A good portrayal of Jeremy Irons by, or of Alfred by Jeremy Irons, mm-hmm. and I enjoyed how they actually helped or they showed Batman being a detective. Mm-hmm. I liked that, and I liked the bat suit. I did like that bat suit. I liked that bat suit. That so, bat suit was pretty bad. Um, there's some good stuff in there. So yeah. There's some good stuff There's some in good there. Stuff in there. It, I'm trying to get it out. It, but it, it's, it's spoilery, so I can't hold it. But there is some good stuff in there. But those are the ones I can reveal that make me kind of go, yeah, that was cool. That's my pluses without going spoilery. Mm, Jared. Uh, my good stuff is going to be Batman, like the action of the movie. Like, I mm-hmm. really like Batman when he's doing the fighting and yes. using his gadgets and jumping around the rooms and going through the holes and being all sly and crafty. It was pretty good. Uh so I would have to say the action was pretty good. The action, okay. Yeah. Chris, the detective Batman, or the detective uh, gadget style Batman, uh, the Arkham Batman, the Arkham Batman. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta go with your own, dude. Don't steal mine. <laughs> well, what else kind of is there? What else? He still jacked it. Yeah, he kind of stole his too. Yeah, come on, come up with something else. <laughs> uh, there isn't anything else. You didn't like Superman? You didn't like nothing? Uh, the fight scenes were cool, but he already said that. Mm. So, 
That's about it. No, That's all I had. We're really pulling teeth here. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I just... I'm surprised. Okay. Okay. Two well, and a half hours well, long. <laughs> I, I, That's it. Yeah, all right. Well, I mean, for me, for me, it's just the performance of Henry Cavill. Uh, Henry Cavill still portraying as Superman because, I mean, he's... he. I don't know. For me, he just knocks it out of the park. Yeah, he's a good um, show. He's a little quiet at times. I kind of see Superman in the comics. Well, that's just the fanboy in me. Just being a little more outspoken and more courageous, I guess, where he's more a little, little timid, kind of like the anti-hero almost, but not really. He's not can, in your can face. He, yeah. yeah, he's not in your face like that. He's not like, I stand for justice and this is what needs to happen. You know? yeah. He's just more like, I'm a good guy. I'm here. Just call me. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. I still love Henry Cavill's portrayal and... I'm torn between Ben Affleck's portrayal of Batman and Bruce Wayne, which we'll get into when we go into the bad parts, which is right now. (laughs) Bad point, point, bad point, bad point number one. I see what you did there. Yeah, I see what you did there. (laughs) Bad point one. Ben Affleck's portrayal of Batman is too hardcore Henry for me. See what I did there? Uh, Two, just a little angrier with no contextual reason. But his Bruce Wayne was cool. All right, so my negatives is the massive negative that drawed, that pulled me out of it and had me wanting to scream at the screen. Lex Luthor. Horrible. Jesse Horrible Eisenberg. Jesse Eisenberg's portrayal of Lex Luthor. Now, while he did a good job at acting, I my issue is wow, they're portraying this Lex Luthor character. Probably, and I said it in the podcast, was this is probably, in my opinion, the worst portrayal of a Lex Luthor char- uh, character in all Superman movies and shows. Mm-hmm. The worst. Yeah. Yep. So not that he acted poorly, but how it was written, what they did with the character, horrible, horrible, horrible. Hated it with a burning red passion like Superman's eyes when he had a man. So anyway, <laughs> hated it. Jared. I'm going to do the, the right thing here. I'm going to let Chris go next. Uh-oh. So oh, I don't take oh, away oh, his stuff. Oh, oh, here we go. See, <laughs> he just doesn't want you to steal his stuff. See, no, no. Uh, no yeah. if, if I take it away, then he doesn't know what to say. So now <laughs> he gets a chance to say it. He's being Superman. I'm just yeah, you know, nice I, just, I got more than one. I got more than one here. He's so. like, don't worry about it. Like, Jared's got a few. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, I didn't like the amount like the introduction of all the other characters when they weren't necessarily needed at this point um they just tried to shove way too much into one film mm-hmm. this one film it's a good one yeah that's fair i agree with you yeah not stolen oh not, <laughs> not stolen <laughs> no. he didn't steal it make yeah. that clear. okay i got a couple more rounds, but the, okay I, let's go here the one i'm going to talk about is just the story like it's all over the place mm-hmm. yeah. oh like i'm like i was confused the whole movie mm-hmm. so all i knew that I don't even know what I knew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, so that that's what would be my biggest one. Yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> honestly, story, yeah. just coming out of the theater, for me, it was just like a, uh, that face right there that I just did. It's like, yeah. what am I supposed to feel? I yeah. mean, do I care? There's like no emotion for me that I, I don't know. Yeah. I, yeah. I feel like I have. To, I need to watch it like three more times just to understand. Well, it. see, and, and like, like I, I, I said, it's like the goods... Then you get the negatives, and it just kind of goes, and they just kind of even out. Mm-hmm. And so it makes it like this about emotionally how you feel about mm-hmm. it. I mean, initially about the story, it's kind of like either I need more information about the story or take away some of the information from the story. Take away. Exactly. They should have taken away. <laughs> it, just keep it simple. Keep it thematic. And don't try to cram so much stuff into it yep. that it starts getting so overly complex that you don't know which way direction you're supposed to mm-hmm. feel. Mm-hmm. I mean, as an audience member, I... I mean, you want me to feel something, right? Mm-hmm. I don't feel okay. anything. Nope. <laughs> so, I mean, to wrap it all up, is this a man or is it do it? Again, there's that face again. <laughs> <laughs> can't even make it up. <laughs> Go, I can't. Okay, <laughs> so I'm going to say there's enough in this to make it a do it, <clears throat> but barely. It's not full on meh because there's some really good stuff. So I'm going to say do it. Sure. My turn? Uh, yeah. I say do it. Okay. It's a good enough movie. It's a lot of action. And it. just don't worry about the story too much. Just enjoy the... <laughs> Ignore that. Enjoy it. Enjoy yeah. the <laughs> cinematics. Yeah. There you go. Chris. Um, I know enough people that would enjoy it. 
<laughs> what does that mean? What does that mean? What does that mean? I would say it's worth seeing. I so wouldn't necessarily say opening night. So, so does it do it for you? I'll do it, yeah. Right. Okay. Back to Leon. We've run I wonder circle. if I can make this a weird answer. <laughs> I would say do it, but you will come off it like a meh. <laughs> <laughs> so do it for it's the a experience. Do it with a warning. Wait, <laughs> do it to experience the meh. There we go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> and with that stated, what's our next movie? We decided. Was it hardcore? We're talking about doing hardcore. Yeah, right. yeah. Right. I was going to do hardcore. We're, I thought we're just waiting to Civil War, but uh, Jared here said, "Hey, hardcore Henry." I was like, "All right, we're it's in." Totally different. Yeah, first yeah. person. We'll see how it goes. That's definitely a brain check movie. So maybe yeah. we should do the Possible review on first person. Hopefully, movie. we don't get sick. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, can true. we do the review? Can we do the bite size in first person cam? <laughs> Uh, we could do that again. I'll bring the rotary thing. And we'll do first <laughs> oh, person. <yeah. laughs> All right, so next time, Hardcore Henry. And as always, you know me. I'm Leon. That's OD. This is Jared. This is Chris. And we'll see you next time. Later. <laughs>